Hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Kylie. In February 2008, I was diagnosed with stage 3 melanoma. I was diagnosed in October 2010. We're both here today because our doctors knew what to do in our particular situations. And that's because someone in the past did some trials and proved that the treatment works. We're doing this video today because there is a trial going on called the Whole Brain Radiotherapy Melanoma Trial that we really think you need to know about. It's a trial that could change the direction of future melanoma treatments with your help. We think it's important that you know about this trial because you might not have known about it as a lot of doctors don't and it hasn't been brought to a lot of people's attention. We really believe that you need to take your destiny and your treatments into your own hands. Yeah, there is a chance that this treatment works. So, you know, let's go and talk to some doctors that regularly diagnose patients with this particular melanoma and let's see what they have to say. Hi, I'm a neurosurgeon and I operate on patients who have melanoma that have seeded in their brain and grown into tumours. Operating on these tumours um, is risky and um, does have several side effects. What, what I would like to know is whether whole brain radiotherapy given to patients after the treatment with surgery is effective at reducing the frequency of recurrence of these tumours. This is why we need the whole brain radiotherapy trial as it will answer this very crucial question. I'm a radiation oncologist with special interest in stereotactic radiosurgery. This is a form of radiation therapy using highly focused radiation beams to target cancer cells in the brain. After we use stereotactic radiosurgery to treat all the melanoma that we can see on MRI, we don't know whether it would be of any benefit to add in whole brain radiation therapy. This is because there has been no specific clinical trial designed for patients with melanoma. This whole brain radiotherapy trial will help to answer this very important question. I use MRI or magnetic resonance imaging scans to detect the tumours to help plan treatment and to monitor the results of treatment. I feel that this trial is really important. It will help us to give patients the best possible treatment and care when the tumour has spread. Well, as you can see, these doctors are very keen on this trial. If it was me in this situation, I'd go ahead and get on the trial. What have you got to lose? Yeah, if it works, obviously it would do away with all those complicated treatments. It really makes sense to me. If you're in this situation, you really need to give anything a go. Anything's worth living for. Yeah, that's right, Kai. So what is whole brain radiotherapy? Let's go and talk to the man who set the whole trial up. When melanoma goes to the brain, we think that microscopic cells go to all the brain. So even after patients have had their larger tumours dealt with by surgery or stereotactic radiotherapy, those tiny cells can grow up to form bigger masses and cause new problems. And those new problems obviously need more significant treatment. Therefore, in some departments, we treat the whole brain with radiotherapy. The role of the radiotherapy is to deal with these tiny cells. Fortunately, the dose that's needed is quite low. However, this is very controversial. Some people say that microscopic melanoma is radioresistant. They also say that whole brain radiotherapy can also cause side effects. Their opinion is that we should follow people with regular scanning and deal with their larger tumours as they arise. So this is a controversial area and we really don't know who's right and so that's why we're running the trial. But wouldn't it be good if this trial proves that it could nip the cells in the bud before they get bigger? Well, I just think that if there's a chance that this trial could prove new good things for melanoma, then as a patient, you should go for it. There's risks and side effects with every treatment. This trial is not only run in Australia, it's run around the world. Let's go and chat to a doctor from the UK. Unfortunately, we have the same number of cases of melanoma as in Australia. And so this is a highly important question for us too. The UK melanoma research community considers this to be a really important trial and so thankfully our government have given us funding to join in with the trial. We're really looking forward to participating in this fantastic Australian initiative. So it's not just here in Australia, the whole world is really interested to know whether whole brain radiotherapy works as well as some doctors think it does. So what's the story on the trial? How do we get onto it? Let's hear from some people who are helping organise it. So we are looking for patients who have between one and three brain metastases of melanoma. 
Patients will need to be able to undergo a process called um, informed consent prior to participating in the study and they also need to be able to undergo whole brain radiotherapy if they're allocated to that treatment arm. So what happens if you do decide to go on the trial? Well, the doctors will give you some initial tests and then tell you whether you will be treated with whole brain radiotherapy or not. Either way, you will receive exactly the same care and tests all the way through the trial. Here are some shots of what it's like to be on the trial. The care you will receive and the number of visits and tests you will get is far more frequent if you're on the trial than if you're not. If your melanoma does come back in the brain, you can have this treated really quickly. And if you didn't receive whole brain radiotherapy initially, you can then have it. The trial is open at at least one hospital in every mainland state in Australia. You should ask your doctor to refer you to one of these. So okay, it's pretty clear that this is an important trial and it will only happen if you guys decide to go on it. And if you do go on it, you'll be getting better treatment simply because you'll be getting tested more often, which means if there are any problems, they'll be treated sooner. Another thing I think that is really important is this is a world first trial. You could be helping fellow melanoma patients in the future. As I said before, we are here because our doctors knew what to do in our case. You could be helping other doctors to know what to do. Here's that telephone number on the screen for you to get involved.